I'm going to go over uh, cryptocurrency um, and uh, primarily Bitcoin since uh, that's the, the most prominent uh, and, and talked about uh, uh, cryptocurrency. Now, uh, before I go over this video, I'm not going to go over any of the details like uh, the technical stuff like the, the blockchain and the ledger and security and all that stuff. Uh, a, I'm not an expert on that and B, it's, it's not relevant to what I want to talk about. It's more, um, uh, should you should you buy Bitcoin? Does it make sense to do so? Um, the answer to that would really depend on what you view Bitcoin as, uh, or this could be said for any cryptocurrency. Uh, you are either going to be viewing it as an investment, or you're going to be viewing it as a currency. And those two are two totally different things. So if you're viewing it as an investment, um, you're looking at it as uh, something like gold, silver, any other commodity. So you could put anything, wheat, corn, anything. And you'd say you'd buy it today and it would go up in value, hopefully, because of supply and demand. Okay, so supply and demand would create that value for that, uh, for that investment. And whether you buy it or not, uh, really, uh, you can't say whether it's uh, undervalued or not because there's there's no fundamental value for this. Just like with gold, there's no fundamental value, meaning uh, uh, cash flow. Okay, so you cannot look at it like any regular investment and say this will like a bond. Say you you say it'll generate X dollars per year for fifty years, and if I take all of the money that it's going to generate and I convert it to today's dollars, it works out to $890. And that's the value of this investment. You can't say that with gold. You can't say that with Bitcoin or, or for most commodities. So it is an estimate of how much will people want it in the future and how much of it is available. And then that'll come up to a, a, an economic price for, for that. Uh, so since you can't value it, you can't really say technically whether it's a good investment or not you don't know whether it's going to go up or down because uh, the supply and the, the supply i guess you could monitor for bitcoin because there is a, a sequence of how many can be mined but uh, demand is uh, purely based on emotion okay? uh, the other way to look at it is that this is actually a currency okay? like it's gonna be like uh, the us dollar um, or the euro okay? so it, it isn't right now because you can use the US dollar and the euro almost everywhere in the world, but you cannot use Bitcoin almost everywhere in the world. Um, if that is the case, then it's a totally different valuation. What you're, It's still a supply and demand valuation, but you're going to be valued on the credibility, the currency, and the demand for it from that perspective. Okay, So um, uh, most people in uh, North America seem to be valuing it as an investment. Okay? And uh, by valuing it, I'm using that term incorrectly. What they're saying is they they think it's going to go up in price. They don't have any objective reason to say why, uh, so they buy it. They hope it goes up in price, and and then they will they will sell it. Uh, the true value in the long run is if it is able to de develop itself as a legitimate currency that is widely accepted. Okay, so that's the key here. So once it becomes widely accepted. Um, it, it can it, it can uh, increase in value significantly. Okay, so uh, so ultimately the whether it's undervalued or not would would depend more on this segment here it is treating it as a currency and a currency that will be able to be used in a variety of areas. Uh, it isn't widely accepted right now. Clearly, and even more recently, Elon Musk bought. Uh, uh, a billion and a half of Bitcoin uh, and decided uh, they would accept Bitcoin as well. Uh, and, and I guess that's good news for Bitcoin, but but that's one of millions of retailers on the planet that need to start accepting it. It has to become accepted the way, uh, uh, if not a, a US dollar, something like MasterCard or Visa would be accepted. And then uh, the momentum for the company, for the currency would uh, continue to exist. Now, will it ever become uh accepted or not there's a, a couple of things to consider i'll talk about that in the in the next video